Hello guys and welcome back to Igniting Illumination and today I'll be showing you the third part of the video in which I show how to draw claws on a fighting pose and this is the kicking pose more specifically so to get started we, we're going to have to raise the muscles that we drew here so let's get that done Okay, so now once you finish that, we're going to add for here, he's, he's going to be wearing a t-shirt, so you want to start with just kind of making a curved line here, and then it, it's going to break the line here a bit and come back in like so same thing here I'm just going to kind of roll like this it's going to, and this is going to wrap around the back here to show that it's in that it goes around then it gives it more the the perception aspect so once we've done that, we can continue with the other side. Do the same thing here, and might not want to have the muscles showing as much. Here, since it's a t-shirt. So, let's see if we can. So, start from the top of the muscle here, and just kind of come down straight like that. Like so. Same thing goes with this side over here. Like so. And for here, it's going to kind of come down here and it's not going to kind of curve in that much. It's going to kind of be a bit loose here and curve out here for the shirt and it's going to curve back in like so uh, very kind of wavy pattern here since he because remember he's kind of kicking in the air so it's going to be a bit of that and we can change this up a bit here so let's make it out more like this like so and we're going to kind of have it go around the back here so you can kind of see a bit of it the inside here in the back and since this is kind of going up in the air I will I'll kind of get to that later, how to add uh, folds and stuff. Now for the legs here, we're going to have to erase the, this part, the glutes maximus here. Kind of connect these for now. And draw the short pants coming down here. It's going to go up like so. and connect up there over here it's basically going to follow the same line maybe just a bit outside like so let's erase the lines that we had inside curve it around the back there like so and same thing up here and since it's in the air it's going to be a bit tight here but coming down it's going to be way out here it's going to break back in 
then kind of continue like so and now let's erase the lines which we don't need and there you go for the lines here there's going to be a fold coming down around here another one here kind of ticking these folds a bit and then there's one here another one around here let's draw in the back pockets of the pants first here this is going to be kind of this pocket here that's one there and then another one here so let's go ahead and draw that in and then there's going to be about let's see about five lines cutting across here to show the stretching and uh, it's going to be a line coming out from here as well a bit triangular triangular shape here there's going to be a line coming like so another one a bit higher and there's also going to be a pocket on the side here and from that here is going to be a line cutting across right here then just a few lines here and one coming out from that one and another one here as for the shirt this is going to it's going to be a bit different let's see so let's start up here let me just make sure we got way to initial lines here okay so around here there's going to be like a line that's coming up there and then another one that follows here as for more the back here it's going to be one cutting across here down to the armpit there just another slight one there like so and then here big one over there I'm stretching across here kind of connecting to the top here almost and since here is kind of wavy we're going to have it draw several of these lines coming in here like so and it's going to be few here still one cutting across actually my bad that was not supposed to go there okay then hmm let's see just a tiny one there and that should be about it as to how to
to draw claws on a fighting pose. Now, if you'd like to, you could kind of shade these in, these open areas here. So let's go ahead and do that. It's up to personal preference, but you know. I'll shade it into give you a feel of how it would look like then. So you won't have to experiment as much. So there you go. And then do this small one down there. And And now I'm just clean it off a bit. More of the erasers. So now this is how to draw a shirt and the pants on a fighting pose, including the different force that's drawn on it. So once again, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and subscribe, like. Leave in the comments what you'd like to see me draw next here on Igniting Illumination.